It's a new year and a new world tour season. And while 2021 seems to be starting exactly how 2020 left off, was extreme uncertainty around the race calendar, one thing remains as usual, the chopping and changing of the world tour teams and their bikes. We've made this video so you can keep up to date with who is riding what this season. Let's get into it. AG2R La Mondiale becomes AG2R Citron team for 2021 and with it is a change of bike sponsors, from Eddie Merckx to BMC. The team will use the BMC Team Machine SLR, spec as a Campagnolo Super Record EPS group set, with the French team having swapped back to the Italian Gruppo after just one year with Shimano. Campagnolo also provides its Bora wheels, while other sponsors include Pirelli, Physique and Wahoo while Power2 Max provide the power meters for the team. Cipollini continues its sponsorship of BTC Lublana into 2021. Previously, the team has ridden the brand's NK1K aero bike, but there's a new integrated lightweight Dolmir available and the one aero model to choose from. Other sponsors include Campagnolo, Vittoria, Four Eyes and Dada. Astana becomes Astana Premier Tech for 2021, but the team remains on Villiers bikes. The riders will make use of the brand's Zero lightweight model and new Falante SLR do-it-all machine. The bikes will be equipped with a Shimano Dual Race Di2 group set while running Karima wheels and Vittoria tyres. They sure do look happy about it. A new Bahrain victorious moniker makes it two names in two years for the Bahrainian team, as headline sponsor McLaren leaves the team for 2021. However, the bikes remain the same, with the team riding Merida bikes for 2021. On the flatter days, the team will be riding the updated Merida Reacto, while Walt Powell's and Mikel Lander will favour the brand's climbing bike, the Sculptura. Both bikes will run a Shimano Dual Race Di2 group set, while other sponsors include Vision, Prologo, FSA, Continental and Garmin. Bora Hands grow and specialise carry on together into 2021, a partnership that will see Peter Sagan carry on riding the specialised S-Works Tarmac SL7. They'll also use the Roubaix for some more cobbly parkours. Bora Hansgrohe will be sponsored by Shimano, use Rover wheels, Pro components and Wahoo computers and turbos. Canyon SRAM Racing continues unchanged in terms of sponsor, with Canyon providing its Aero, Ultimate and Speedmax models for the racers, including Alice and Hannah Barnes and Tiffany Cromwell. Pauline Ferran Prevot departs the team after four years of racing. The bikes receive new paint jobs, which are typically gorgeous, but the sponsors remain the same. SRAM's ETAP AXS group set takes care of shifting, while the team will roll on zip wheels and Schwalbe tyres. Having swapped from Quota at the end of 2019, Cofidis is sticking with De Rosa for 2021. It's likely the racers will choose the Marac model, which blurs the line between aerodynamics and lightweight, but there's also the out-and-out -out aero Pinaferina they could use. It's very almost an Italian full house, with the team using Fulcrum wheels, a Campagnolo Super Record EPS group set, and Seller Italia saddles. SRM will provide power meters and computers. De Kerning's kit sponsors are unchanged for the 2021 season, with the big news being Mark Cavendish's return to the team. Him and Sam Bennett will be duking it out aboard the specialised S-Works Tarmac SL7, equipped with Rover wheels and a Shimano Dual Race Di2 group set. Education First welcomes Japanese construction company Nippo to share title sponsorship duties of the team for 2021. The team's bikes remain the same, with Cannondale extending sponsorship through to 2023. The racers will use the Super 6 Evo, the System 6 and the Slice time trial bike. They will also be running Shimano's Dual Race Di2 group set, Vision wheels and Vittoria tyres.
The perennial partnership of Lapierre and FDJ's men's and women's team continues into 2021, with the likes of Thibaut Pinot and Cecil Utrecht Ludwig making the most of the Lapierre Air Code and Lapierre Zelius. Shimano provides group sets and wheels for the team, while Continental and Pro provide equipment. The last time Richie Port swung a leg over a Pinarello it was an F8 in 2015. His final year was Team Sky. This year he joins Ineos Grenadiers, where he'll be using the Pinarello Dogma F12. He'll be bolstering a star-studded lineup that includes the likes of Theo Gagan Hart, Adam Yates, and Geraint Thomas. The team continues to use Shimano Durace group sets and wheels, as well as continental tyres and most components. Intermarché Wanty Gobert Materio makes the steps from pro continental level to world tour aboard Cube Bikes, with the riders using the Lightning C68X race bike and the Arium time trial model. Shimano provides the group sets while Nguyen and Continental provide the wheels and tyres and Brighton the team's computers. Perhaps the biggest change for 2021 is Chris Froome racing for Israel Startup Nation, where he'll be riding against the ranks of Ineos Grenadiers for the first time aboard the Factor Ostro Vam aero bike. The team will be using Shimano group sets and black ink wheels, as well as Maxxis tyres, a brand not often seen in professional road racing. Four Eyes will take care of power meter duties. Jumbo Visma moves from Bianchi to Savello for the 2021 season, although the bigger news might be the new Jumbo Visma women's team headed up by Marianne Voss. The combined firepower of both teams is formidable and Voss, Tom de Moulin, Primoz Roglic and Wout van Aert have the option of the Savello R5 climbing bike or the S5 aero bike, while the P5 will take care of time trial duties. Shimano provides the gears and wheels for the team's new bikes while Vittorio takes care of the rubber. CCC Live becomes Live Racing for the 2021 race season, with the team having the choice between the Live Langma and the Live MV Live aero bike. However, the team was unfortunately unable to provide us with images of their bikes, so we can't bring you up to date versions. However, the team is sponsored by SRAM and will be using the red ETAP AXS group set as well as KDEX wheels, a sister brand of Live. Ridley and Lotto Sadao continue their partnership into 2021, making it a Belgium full house for the next season. The riders will have the choice of the lightweight Helium for the hills and the Noah Fast for the sprints, while the Dean Fast TT bike will be their weapon of choice against the clock. Riders including Thomas de Ghent and Caleb Ewan have beautiful custom colorways for the 2021 season. The team's partnership with Campagnolo also continues into 2021, with a team using the super record 12-speed EPS group set, as well as Campagnolo's wheels. There's no change for the Spanish team for 2021, with both the male and female outfits continuing aboard Canyon bikes. The big change is the signing of Annemiek van Vluten as leader for the year ahead. She'll have the choice of either the Canyon Ultimate CFR or the Canyon Aero CFR. Movistar's partnership with SRAM continues and both the men's and women's teams carry on using the red AXS ETAP group set, zip wheels and quark power meters. Mitchelton Scott becomes Team Bike Exchange for 2021, with both the men's and women's teams jumping from Scott to Bianchi for the coming season. Simon Yates and his teammates will have the choice of the Bianchi Ultra XR4 and the Bianchi Specialissima for the coming season, with Nisa bikes coming in the classic Celeste colour. The team will be using Shimano's Durace Di2 Disc group set, with Shimano Durace C40 and C60 wheels and Pirelli tyres. Cockpit duties are covered by FSA, while Garmin takes care of the team's computers. Formerly Team Sunweb, Team DSM is a new name for 2021, taking over both the Sunweb men's and women's teams. 
The team will be sponsored by Scott, giving new signing Roman Bardet the choice of addict, while Lorena Viebs will value the Scott Foil's aerodynamic properties, although the two bikes are very similar. The team will ride the Scott Plasma and TT stages. The bikes will be equipped with Shimano Jawrace Di2 group sets and Shimano wheels with Vittoria tyres equipped. Formerly NTT Pro Cycling, Quebec Assos remains sponsored by BMC this year, giving the Swiss company a second team on the World Tour stage. The riders will use the Team Machine SLR disc, but the big change for 2021 season is that Hunt Wheels are sponsoring the World Tour team, providing the racers with both 50mm wheels and shallow 30mm options too. The bikes will use Shimano Dual Race Di2 group sets with rotor cranked and Seller Italia finishing kit. Bowles Dolmans become Team SD Works after a late sponsorship change last year. The team sponsors remain the same however, with Specialized providing its S-Works Tarmac SL7 for the team to ride, equipped with a SRAM Red ETAP AXS group set, quark power meters and zip wheels. There's no change at Trek Segafredo, with the long-time coffee and bike collab continuing into 2021. Both the men and women will have access to the Trek Amanda for the mountain stages, the comfortable Trek Domane and the Aero Trek Medome for the flat stages. Equipment sponsors are also unchanged, with SRAM providing its red ETAP AXS group set, while Bontrager provides the wheels and finishing kit. UAE Team Emirates remain with Colnago for the 2021 season, hoping to replicate their Tour de France win. Tade Pogacar and new signing Mark Hershey will have the choice of the C64 or the Concept Aero bike, but it's most likely they'll use the V3 RS model. Meanwhile, they'll use the K1 TT bike for the time trials. The team remains sponsored by Campagnolo, with the Uzza Heritage Italian brand providing the group set and wheels. Dada provides the finishing kit and Vittoria the tyres. So there you have it, all the bikes of all the teams at this year's World Tour. For those of you that are interested, out of the 29 men's and women's World Tour teams, I make that 5 on Campagnolo, 7 on SRAM and 17 on Shimano. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the CW channel. Thanks.